The more of them there are, the scarier they look. Hey, what's up my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Mechanical Alliance Scorpion Warrior. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have a big old image of Scorpion Warrior. His name is Scorpion Warrior. He's our little buddy. Hey, to see what a big buddy looks like. MT-07 on this side, Scorpion Warrior on this side, Scorpion Warrior up top, Scorpion Warrior on the bottom. Hey, look, Scorpion Warrior on the back of the box, the same image as the front of the box. That's basically it for uh, the packaging. And moving right along, here we have a Scorpion Warrior, and this is the last component of Mechanical Alliance's knockoff upscaled studio series Devastator, and here we have Overload. So yeah, at long last, we're finally taking a look at him. Sorry to everybody who's been waiting on this, but you know, knockoffs do not uh, take high priority here, but I was finally able to work him into the schedule, so we're here. We're here now, but yeah. Very nicely done figure here, but let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at those abs, but at the noggin. Oh, there's the noggin. Very cool looking head sculpt in my opinion. Really dig that. It's a very menacing looking face. Got the nice yellow in there for the eyes. Even kind of a yellow nose going on there. But nicely done. You can see some silver here. Those ladders, you got the white stripes. Got some bits of yellow in there. Again, lots of nice detail throughout. Got lots of arms. Got lots of claws. Lots of stabby things. Got some big old knee spikes going on. Just dozies. With some heelys. Back here, some little claw heelys. And move on the back. Some wheelies. And some backies. Again, some little detail in there as well. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's Studio Series Overload. We know what he looks like. But here he's just a bit bigger. There is some die-cast content in these, as always. I believe the chest. I think the chest is die-cast. I'm not sure what else. Maybe the feet? I think might maybe the feet. These panels here might be die-cast as well. Not entirely sure what's die-cast and what is not. That's just my best guess. But anyway, articulation-wise... Uh, the head can rotate. Um, it rotates on kind of a weird axis here, but you know you can get you know some decent rotation going on here. Get them looking side to side. Get them looking down. Get them looking up. That's as far up as he can go. Um, as far as the arms go, we have a lot of ratchet joints here. A lot of tight, loud ratchets, but we get rotation there. We get outward movement there. There's also a hinge like right at the base here. It's more for transformation, but you can get that whole section moving up if you wanted to. You have rotation at this arm. You have a double jointed elbow here. These claws can move in and out. As far as this arm goes, it can move forward and back. You got an elbow joint there that can swing both ways. Um, as far as the claw here, you got rotation. You have a double joint right here. And a new addition to the mold is that these claws can now open and close. You even got like a little bit of a kind of like a hydraulic little piston action going on there too, which is pretty cool. Um, nothing at the waist, but the legs can move forward about that far back, that far outward. He can almost do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. Yeah, eh, not much knee bend. Under 90 degrees of bend, but you can straighten the leg out all the way if you need to. And as far as the feet go, um, no upward and downward movement. You can move the heel down if you need to. And you also have lots of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, you get this piece here for the combined mode. And it's going to be Devastator's little neck region here. So you've done a dark gray with some green. Also a bit of like off-white in there. You can store this on overload there's just a clip right here you can take and just clip it on it's a big clip but you can get it on there there we go you can just take it and just hang it off his back it's a place to put it hooray hooray for storage things you can store if you want to store it um you also get this right here it's like a little uh 
exhaust pipe. Now, full disclosure, I just found this rattling around in the box, like right before I started shooting this video. So I don't know where this goes. I will keep you posted though, as to where this goes. I'll figure it out, I'll, I'll figure it out. So there you have that. And now for Comparis Hunt. Here he is with Studio Series Megs. With the TF Dream Factory Megs. With MPM Megs. Taller there. And with MPM Prime. And last but not least, here he is with the original Studio Series Overload. So you can see how that works out and just how much they upscaled this guy. And you can see the differences there in the paint apps and whatnot. So, and how do we get a proper group shot of all these guys? We don't. We just don't. But just trust. Trust that they're all there. They're all there. Trust me. And they honestly look great together. So there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So the first thing we want to do is just come back here, take this little section, flip it down. You want to unclip this entire canopy and then bring all this down and just bring all this down. Drop that, get that out of the way. We're now going to start working on the arm. So what you want to do is you want to rotate this claw up. You want to bend it in at this hinge here. You want to bend it in as far as it will go. And you have a tab that will go into a little notch right here and it comes in at an angle. So just angle that in so it's offset like that. And then you can take this and just collapse it up into this section here. Once you have done that, this claw is going to rock back. It's gonna bend that elbow. And before we do that, we're going to take this little retainer piece, bring that up so we can bring all that down and line that up. So now that that's done, we can rotate this arm up and you have a post that will go into that port right there. Just line it up and plug it in, plug it in. And second virus is just like the first. And now that that's done, we can start moving some really loud ratchets. So you want to bring those sections all the way up and then rotate them up. Oh, like that. Same thing here. Oh, baby. Oh, that's loud. And once we've done that, we just take the two halves and bring them in. And this, this section right here is also like, this thing locks, and I mean it locks. There we go. Bring that up. And then we have multiple tab slot connections here. Just bring the two halves together in holy matrimony. And there we go. We got the back half all done. So now for the legs, just want to take this knee spike and just bring it up and just straighten the leg up as much as you can for now. Take this little heel and just bring that up. You're going to take the foot and just rotate that all the way down. Bring this panel in. Now you're going to take this section here with the wheel and just rotate it around. There's a little slot there, a little tab slot connection. Just bring it down until everything is sitting Nice and flush like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And both legs are done, so now we merge. So we do have a T-tab here, so you want to make sure that this panel goes over this one. Just line it up, and then you can drop all this down and line that up. So now, what we need to do is we're going to take the head... And we're just going to drop it down. He's going to end up with his head between his legs. Awkward, but necessary. And this whole waist section here is just going to collapse up like that and just lock into place right there. Now you can just kind of straighten everything out as best you can. These wheels will drop down. You got a little tab slot connection right there. It's basically just going into the gap for the uh, mushroom peg. But it is a locking point. It works. It does the job. So bring that down on either side like so. And the last thing to do is take this canopy section, slide it over to the side, clip that down, and then drop all of this down. And you have tab slot connections right here, and also this section right here is going to end up going right in that slot there. So 
you have everything lined up just right, everything should just drop right in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And there you go, there you have Scorpion Warrior in his alt. Ma uh, not, really, not really any spinning happening there, but there he is in his alt mode. And it's a big beefy vehicle, just a big beefy vehicle here. Well, looks quite good. Looks quite good. Nonetheless, but let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. We can see the windshields and windows there done in a nice metallic blue right up front. We got some gunmetal gray. We got some silver there for the headlights. Rims done in red. We got some big old wheels here. Again, some nice small detail throughout. It's all the detail we've seen on the original version of the mold. These little sections here picked out in a gunmetal gray. Lots of detail there. Got some little claws just kind of hanging out the back. The back is not the most elegant thing in the world, but still, all in all, looks pretty good. There is the top. There is the bottom. He does roll like rolling things should. Hooray! Hooray for rolling! Man, for comparison, here it is with NPM. Bumblebee with MPM Prime. And here it is with the original Studio Series Overload, so you can see how that works out. And again, there's no real elegant way to do this, but hey, they're all they're all there. <laughs> but again, they do look quite good together, so <laughs> there you go. Now as far as uh this goes, um doesn't fit there. It seems like maybe it goes here? Question mark? Maybe? I don't know. That seems to make sense. Now as far as this section goes, you can store this on the alt mode as well. You have these two clips here on either side. It's going to go into these notches right here. So you just line it up, plug it in. Also helps kind of cover up the claws. And there's your storage. Hooray, hooray for storage. So that is basically it for the alt mode, so let's get down to transformation again, shall we? I don't know why I try. I don't know. I don't know why. Definition of insanity and all that, but let's move on. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to unclip these two sections here and just bring them out. Start moving them out Ugh, right there, and then you're going to rotate it in like so. You want to bring this all the way up so it locks in right there in the horizontal position. And then you bring this down like so. So once you've done that, you can unpeg this claw section here and just kind of bring it out. You want to take the claws and then flip them over to the other side. And once that is done, you're going to rotate this section forward like that. We're going to angle this section back, bring this little retainer piece up. And what you're going to do now is you're just going to bring this little claw back up and now it will plug into this port right here. Right there. If the camera will focus on it. Right there. That's where it is. And this is going to plug in right there. Like so. There's also a clip right here that you can use if you want to. I personally don't use it, but you can totally clip it in. I'll clip it in. There we go. This clips in nice and solidly right in there. And there you pretty much have that side all done. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other. And there we go. We got that done. So now we're going to take these wheels here, bring them back, bring them back. We're going to undo this whole canopy section here. Just bring all this up. Get things tab in very securely, maybe a little too securely, but <laughs> undo that and then undo these sections here. Again, just kind of lift this up, give a little wiggle wiggle. There we go. And these are just going to get brought out to the side like so. And then this whole section will come up, come over. This little canopy section here will just come up, slide over to the central position. Don't you fight me, you slide. There we go. And that's just going to end up sitting right here. I'll make sure that all is sitting vertical. Bring that down. And there you go. 
So you have Scorpion Warrior in his combined mode, and it won't stand like this, so I have to hold it up, but that is the combined mode. Hooray, hooray for combined modes. You know what? You lay there. You just, you just lay there. And here it is with the original overload in combined mode, and that looks like a whole bunch of nothing, but it's going to look like something eventually. Trust me. So there you go. So there you have Scorpion Warrior, and um, yeah, really like this design. Um, you know, the upscaled version of it looks really, really good. You got some die casts in there. You got some extra paint apps and different paint apps. Feels really good quality. Feels nice and sturdy. Uh, granted, some of the ratchet joints are a little too tight, but you know, still... Considering this is going to be supporting, you know, a good amount of weight, it's understandable. But overall, yeah, quite good. I mean, it's a knockoff, but it's a very well done knockoff in my opinion. So there you go. Now in the next video, we're finally going to take these guys and slap them together and form Devastator. So stay tuned for that. Now I picked this up from TF Safari. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. And if you use the promo code 2022MGOREVIEW at checkout, you will get a discount on your order. And of course, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for all your other Transformers needs. As always, linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out the KO Devastator playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Mechanical Alliance Scorpion Warrior. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek! Be proud, bomb in your face. Hey, whoa, you're a broad-shouldered one, huh? Anyway, I hope to Primus you're not a slacker like the rest of the team are. No, no, I'm a very hard worker. Great, great, so, uh, get to work. Meaning I'm a very hard worker when I actually feel like working. Do you, do you feel like working? No. No, sweet Primus!